Welcome back. Now we're going to look at how you can remove or drop a column on a table that exists on the database. So let's see how this is done. So first, let's check the column that you might want to remove. Let's go to the PHP my admin. And I'm going to remove this column called title because we have two. We have quote title and title. Let's remove this column called title. So first, let's run that migration. So PHP artisan make migration. And then remove that is title column from quotes table and then I'm going to specify that table again which is quotes table enter created migration let's check from the database directory migrations open that file now on the app method we are going to use the drop column method because we want to perform that operation when we run the migration so table and this one will be drop column which is title then on the reverse of the migration we are going now to get that column back the way it was table it will be a string and then title we can use the column modifier called after and then place it after description So let's check from the PHP menu yeah, after this description. So save. Now we are doing this way just in case we want to get this column back at some point in the migration. So remember the down method always perform the, the reverse of the migration. That is if you roll back, then it will have to put that column back to the, to the table. So this one is for creating. That's why you're using the drop column. So once you're done, save and let's migrate this file, PHP, artisan migrate, enter. So migrated, let's see from the PHP my admin, I'm just going to refresh. And now as you can see that title column is not available now. What about if we roll back, let's see, so PHP. Artisan migrate, rollback, enter. So let's see again. I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, it has placed that title back and after this column called description. So let's migrate again. PHP artisan migrate. Migrated. Let's see. Refresh, and as you can see, that title is no longer available. So that's how dropping column works. And I will see you in the next lecture.